predict the future using silvo method techniques. This is what we're going to be talking about today. I'm Zorina at Heal and Learn. Welcome. And if you're new to the channel, consider watching to the end. If you need, and if you enjoy it, consider subscribing. For anybody who decides to join my newsletter on healandlearn.com, I'm giving away for free my workshop Manifest Money that uses the three scene technique of the silver method. You're going to be able to apply it directly then. And it includes, of course, the alpha and uh, centering exercise. So you do the whole process in this workshop and you can use it for other purposes, not only to manifest money. All right. So again, go to healandlearn.com and sign up for my newsletter. But can you predict the future? It's a valid question. You were probably brought here to my channel uh, through an advertisement of Mind Valley that talks about Helen Hudson, who won a number of lotteries and um, of competitions. Um, and I would say yes, in a combination of a few silver techniques, maybe one can do that. But as a matter of fact, Jose Silva made himself a research with his students, small kids, he tried to uh, get them to guess the numbers from the Mexican lottery. And the Mexican lottery was drawn uh, three times a week. And so the, the kids actually managed to guess the numbers. They did multiple times on multiple occasions, but with one caveat, not on the exact date. So the numbers did show up, but not on the date that the, the, the kids have guessed it. So, um, Jose Silva would um, include all the environmental conditions, such as the weather that day, the temperature, the wind, the, the bodily position of the, of the kids, whether they were facing south, east, north, everything was mapped out. And the kids still weren't able to guess exactly on which day these exact numbers would show up. So they had a range of numbers. They said these were the numbers and they showed up, let's say, two months afterwards. So that's a general problem because you see in alpha, there's no time. There is no perception of time. So you can guess a lot of things. You can see a lot of truth, but you don't know when it happened. Did it happen in the past? Did it happen in the future? And that's, that's why it's mostly effective for programming what you want, not for guessing. And mind you, when you start guessing, when you start seeing pictures of the future, you're already changing the future. You're perceiving a reality that you didn't know and you're adjusting your actions to match this rea reality or to reject this reality if you don't like it. So you're starting to act differently, to change your behavior, your subconscious attitudes even. So every time you see, you hear something about your future, you realize something from your future that doesn't come from within you, you're actually changing it. You're shifting it. Now, I told you that maybe in a combination with another Silva technique, it is possible that this method for looking in the future and being able to predict when would work. And this technique is called the mental clock. With the mental clock, um, you can feel with your intuition when the timeline was or when the exact time is that something happened in the past or will happen in the future. And the way to work with the mental clock is you first go in alpha, and then you imagine that you're holding a clock with arrows and you have to program it and say, each time I turn my finger clockwise, I'm moving forward or anti-clockwise, I'm moving backwards in time. And you can say each revolution of the small arrow shows me one month or one day or one year, whatever um, time periods you, you need or you're working with. So you can encode these time periods. And um, this is how you can come close to what you want to, to see in the future. Or if you want to know when a certain thing happened in the past, you can do the same thing. Just wind the clock counterclockwise or however you program it. So in a combination of these techniques, I can see how you, you could possibly see something in the future. You could possibly predict, but it, it, it's, um, 
it's not as simple as using one technique. You need a, a combination of skills and a, lot, and a lot of creativity to be able to apply this. Okay, um, this is more or less what I wanted to tell you, but my most important message for the day is you create the future and whether you want to see something in the future to help you or to relax you in some way, you can see glimpses of the future. By the way, there's a video from uh, Joe and Cindy, shame on Joe Fox, dreamer and intuitive guide Cindy Edson uh, called glimpses of the future. And this is how you can understand that you can see glimpses of the future, but this is not the your entire timeline, your entire future. This is something that is recorded in the subconscious mind that could be your path, but you can always change it. You can decide to go elsewhere. And it's your decision whether you follow your path in life or if you deviate, experience something else, go elsewhere. In the end, it is what bliss you want to experience in your life. If you follow your, your God-given path, your God-given gifts, which is what also Jose Silva uh, promotes in his um, principles of the Silva method, that uh, we are the fingers of God. So we are there to, to finish the work of God. So our path is to finish what he has started and then to enjoy it because this is why God created his creation. Okay, once again, if you would like to learn more about the Silva Method, if you would like to experience the 3 scene technique in practice, the manifestation and how it is played out in a group, I have recorded it as if you're it's being played out in a group. So uh, you can get my workshop Manifest Money for free. Go to healandlearn.com and sign up for my newsletter. Also, at the, at the beginning of September, my new season of my course, the Heal and Learn Method based on the Silver Method is starting. It is not entirely the Silver Method. I use Silver Method techniques. I use techniques from another uh, energy information system uh, and a lot of um, mind programming and energy techniques from other systems that I have combined together for an overall consciousness expansion course. It takes five weeks and it starts the beginning of September. Go to the links below and check out the Heal and Learn method. Thank you very much.